Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a good one in the men's basketball Friday night showdown. Big East versus Big 12. I am your host, Mighty Doug of Anaheim, checking in. Between the UConn Huskies, the defending champs, and the Kansas Jayhawks, here's a three. Oh! Oh my God! It's a four-point game! It's been pretty much all Jayhawks, but the Connecticut Huskies have kept it close. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Pac-12 championship going on between the undefeated Washington Huskies and the, Can and the Oregon Ducks as a huge block by the Yukon Huskies. Kansas, 6-1. Connecticut, 7-0. 24-20. Oregon leads. Man, oh man. I hope you guys enjoyed Last week's reaction videos, here's a layup and a foul on the Huskies. As I was trying to say, hope you guys enjoyed some NFL action last week. You haven't seen it, go check it out. Jacksonville Jaguars, Houston Texans. You also had... <clears throat> Buffalo Bills, Philadelphia Eagles, Jalen Hurts, game-winning touchdown in overtime. And there's one free throw. Well, you got to give these two teams credit. The Kansas Jayhawks and the Connecticut Huskies, both teams been keeping it close. K.J. Adams Jr. takes the two free throws. It's a six-point game. Here we go. 2.50 to go. Here comes the Huskies. Looking, looking, looking. Time winding down. They're going to lay it up. And they do. He got lucky on that one. Oh, what a layup by Alex Kerbin. He has 10 points tonight. Oh my god. Also, hope you guys enjoyed some college football action. And, oh, he missed it! Here come the Huskies again. UConn looking to try to tie things up. Well, not tie things up, but at least to make it a one-point game or two-point game. Here we go. Take it back out, deep three, no! And a foul on the Huskies again. Oh boy. Alex Kerbin is fouled out. He's done for the night. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Huskies need a miracle here. If they do, they need it now. So, some NBA scores. The Memphis Grizzlies defeat the Dallas Mavericks 108-94. Also, the Philadelphia 76ers and the Boston Celtics played. I've been more focused on between this game and the... Oh, somebody just scored. The Washington Huskies just took back the lead, ladies and gentlemen. 27-24. Three-point game. In the Pac-12 Championship in Las Vegas. Here come the Huskies. And what I mean by Huskies, I mean UConn. Lays it up. And a foul. As New Orleans Pelicans took care of business against the San Antonio Spurs. 121-106. Hunter Dickinson, 15 points and 4 fouls. If he gets one more foul, he's done for the night. And here we go. Now the Connecticut Huskies on the line. Oh, he missed it bad. 
That was terrible. I just hit the rim. I mean, I don't blame him. Everybody's exhausted. You're trying to win a big game. Free throws, 4 of 11 for the Huskies. 11 of 14 for the Jayhawks. Nuggets leading the Suns, 67 to 51. Jayhawk fans on their feet. And got it. So it's a three-point game, ladies and gentlemen. Three-point game. Here we go. We're not going to bring full court pressure yet. Houston took care of business in the Big East Big 12 battle. 66-60. Houston remains undefeated. Against Xavier. Time winding down. Jayhawks trying to keep away. Here's a three. Yes! Oh my god! What a three! You gotta be effing kidding me! What a freaking three! Oh! And a foul! Oh, four foul on McCullough now. He's got four fouls. Wow! Boom! Yeah, threes all day, baby, from downtown. So Kevin McCollin Jr., he is, he's got four fouls. Yeah, another Kansas Jayhawks player who had four fouls. And that one barely rims in. Oh, my God. Six of 13 today in free throws for the Huskies. So not really... They would have been a lot closer if they made their free throws, but it's getting loud in Kansas. And they're 62-66. Wow, 56.8 seconds to go. Kansas up by four. Here we go. Time winding down, and they make the other one. One possession game. UConn, two timeouts. Jayhawks, two timeouts. They're trying. Oh, they, oh, oh, nice fast break pass. Oh, oh, no. It went out of bounds. That gives Connecticut another chance. Oh, my God. And Rock the Chalk Nation is stunned right now. They're praying, hoping that UConn doesn't... I mean, look at that pass. Nice first pass. But the second one... Woo! Over his... Just... Off his hand. Wow. Wow, here we go. In the huddle. So timeout, Connecticut Huskies. What a game, though, with 50.5 seconds to go. What a game this has been. You got to give Connecticut credit for hanging in this game. I mean, yeah, their free throws have been terrible today in tonight's game. Oh, wow. So, some SEC Championship Showdown. Georgia taking on Alabama Crimson Tide. Can the Bulldogs remain undefeated? They have not lost a game in 747 days, I do believe, if I'm thinking correctly. It's been a long time since Georgia has lost a game. In the Big Ten, you got Michigan, ranked number two, after a big win against Ohio State, against number 16-ranked Iowa Hawkeyes. If you guys haven't seen it, go check out that video of the Michigan Wolverines and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Here we go. Here we go. Jayhawks look at oh, hey they got a man open. They got oh Jenner's no been foul call. They look like he got some contact. Ooh, that's close. 
That's close. That is close, man. That is close. That is really close. What a play by the Jayhawks. Ooh, that did go off his head. So, I got something to tell y'all about the Big 12 Championship. So, Oklahoma State, ranked number 18, taking on the number 7 ranked Texas Longhorns. So, in Oklahoma State, they killed a freaking cow, right? A cow, a longhorn cow. And, you know, what is wrong with people? Why would you kill... A longhorn cow. You do realize some of the players are like, oh, that's what the fans think of us in front of the Oklahoma State farmhouse. I mean, literally, it was so bad, the cow had to be carried off in a freaking flatbed. Literally. People are messed up, bro. It's stupid, but you're going to piss people off for doing that. Time winding down. Three-point game. Look out! Look out! Look out! Oh! Oh man! 28.8 seconds to go! Oh man! Alright, so now the Jayhawks are on the line. But no, I just want to get that off my chest. I mean, you don't kill a cow. <laughs> oh, he missed one. He missed one. Here we go. KJ Adams Jr. Tonight, three of six on the free throw line. Jayhawk fans hoping for a win. Celtics hoard off. Shorthanded Sixers. Yeah, Jason Tatum got ejected in the third quarter. And the other one barely rims in. Barely. <laughs> so here we go. 67, 63, Jayhawks. And lays it in! Oh my god! Oh my god! Tristan Newen! Wow, what a layup! Timeout UConn, that's their final timeout. You gotta be freaking kidding me. With 23.1 seconds to go. Oh my god. Wow. He just lays it up. Whoop! And bang! Wow. Oh, he's lucky he didn't foul him. If he fouled him, that would have been bad. Really bad. 24, 27, 24. Washington still leading Oregon. With 23.1 seconds to go, UConn needs a miracle. They do. They need it now. Seriously, though. They need to pressure Jayhawks, get a steal, and get a two-pointer, or at least a three-pointer. Here we go. So here we go. Legends of Basketball Las Vegas. Saturday 10 Eastern. USC taking on Gonzaga. Now if I remember correctly. Brownie James is medically cleared. To take uh, practice. Um, fortunately for him. he Well fortunately and unfortunately. Unfortunately. You know, he had a uh, cardiac arrest problem. I'm glad he recovered well. So fortunately, the doctor's told him, you can play. So I'm, I'm happy to hear it. Here we go. Jayhawks going to have to go deep. They're looking. They got it. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. And a foul. So you do get a foul. With 16.8 seconds to go. Not sure Bill Self would rather have any 
There we go. Dewan Harris Jr. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Let's see what he can do. Can he help the Jayhawks secure the win? Here we go. Here's one. Oh, he missed one. He missed one. Here we go. The one possession game, though, no matter what. Here we go. And... Oh, he missed it! Oh, my God! Oh, my God, he missed it! Here we go! Here comes the Huskies! Ten seconds! Nine! Eight! Seven! Six! Five! Three on the way! No! Rebound, Jayhawks! And a foul! Wow! Wow! Oh, my God! Wow. Oh my god. You kind of no timeouts for many at all. But here we go. With 1.4 seconds to go. One point four, I mean my god. Wow, oh my god. That is unbelievable. But UConn's got no timeouts remaining. Kansas, I believe, has got one or, or two remaining. So in the NHL, the Columbus Blue Jackets took care of business against the Ottawa Senators, defeating them 4-2. to two. So 2.4 seconds to go. They had to fix the clock. So here we go. KJ Adams Jr. We seen him make free throws. We seen him miss a free throw. Jayhawks fans hoping for a dub. Here we go. There's one. Made one. He made one. Sue Bird's looking like, oh man, my house keeps me gonna lose. It's alright, Sue. It's all good. The Huskies lose. Hey, you gotta give them credit for keeping a good game. I mean, Kansas has been putting up a good game themselves. It's a crazy season. For dang sure. And he got the other. UConn's going to have to run down the court. They're going to have to speed down the court like Roadrunner. Oh! And that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. That will do it on this Friday night. Big, Big East. Big 12. Friday night showdown, final score, Kansas Jayhawks 69, the Yukon Husky 65, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Mighty Duck signing off. Peace.